name is Jeff Barlow. I'm a sixth generation grain farmer. So here in Ontario, we have the Ontario Pesticide Education Program in which all farmers uh, that use chemicals or buy chemicals must be registered and must take a course. We use crop protection products like chemicals and pesticides on our crops. They're very necessary for us to grow the quality and the quantity of food that we grow. It's important that we protect the yield that's there in the plant. We can lose a lot of yield. In some cases, over half the crop can be gone if weeds take over. In worst case, 75% of the crop will be decimated by weeds. The amount of chemicals that we use on a per acre basis are actually very low for the active ingredient. Uh, in some cases, it could be milliliters or fluid ounces per acre. Most farmers in Ontario use crop rotation as one of the tools in the toolbox to stop the pest buildup in the soil. Some of the trouble we have and some of the pests we're trying to go for, like fungus-based, bacterial-based pests, will actually stay in the soil over winter and come back into next year's crop. So if you grow the same crop the following year, that disease is already there and will take a, take a foothold quicker and infect the crop earlier. Some farmers, depending on soil type in Ontario, will use different tillage practices to increase soil health. Also, we use cover crops here, and cover crops will reduce the amount of pesticide you need to use the following year by lowering the number of weeds. The weed pressure can be lower in the field, and also reduce the amount of fertilizer you may need to use the following year. As far as fungus and bacteria, fungicides are something we do use on a regular basis because we have a lot of moisture. So because we have heavy clay, we have a lot of excess moisture, that's where fungus and bacteria grows. We use integrated pest management practices here on our farm, and that means that we only spray what we need to spray on the crop if it needs it. And it needs to meet a certain criteria to spray. So if there's only one bug in the whole field, we do not spray the whole field. There are economic thresholds that have been set by university researchers, private companies that have done the research to figure out the economic limits. So we would only spray if there was enough weeds, if it was over the threshold of the weed. Don't forget we're a business just like lots of other businesses out there and we're not gonna do stuff for fun. We only use what we need to use when we need to use it, that's it. The food system is highly regulated. I shop at the same grocery store that everybody else shops at in my town. Uh, I'm the farmer, I grow a lot of the food, and I eat the same food, I trust it. The food is so safe, it's tested. We have really, really high limits, high testing limits in Canada. I think our standard for quality is really high. We have some of the highest quality food in the world. Uh, I feel very safe with our food system. I think we're really lucky to have it.